a health crisis within a ravaging security crisis, a cholera outbreak is said to be ravaging the Kondo Titi and several parts of the Indian division of the conflict hit southwest region of Cameroon. Some officials and workers of the company in charge of water production and distribution in Cameroon have escaped from being administered snake beatings by inhabitants of Loom 99 in the Mungo division of the Litra region of Cameroon. The people say that they have been abandoned by the company, the Loom Council and also the administrative officials in Cameroon in terms of water uh, production and distribution. Also in this edition of the news, we shall be talking heightened insecurity across several parts of the Republic of Cameroon as days narrow to the end of year festivities. But security officials are not relenting their efforts. They have also launched a crackdown on many of the underworld. Several of them have been caught and presented to the local inhabitants. In the northwest region of Cameroon, traditional rulers, as some have fallen into the hands of suspected separatist fighters, it is in the buoy of the region. We shall be checking you deeper in this edition of the news. Thanks for choosing to get connected to the best of television channel. You're on to Equinox Television, the best of channel. We are live from Douala, Cameroon's economic capital city, Equinox Central News Desk. We begin with uh, issues rocking several communities, societal issues, and the surge for the precious liquid water is the reason why some officials of the water production and distribution company in Cameroon escaped from being administered snake beatings by inhabitants of Loom 99 in the Mungo division of the Litura region. The angry people say that Loom 99 has been deprived of the precious liquid in a provoking manner by the company, the Loom Council and administrative officials of the Mungo division but also right up to the central government in Yaoundé. They are questioning the whereabouts of several millions of francs CFE that was given by FECOM for the provision of portable water in Loom 99. Details within us and Aze in the following report. Children, mothers and fathers of Loom 99 in the Mungo division of the Little World region scrambling to fill their containers with water without any of its healthy characteristics to be qualified drinkable. They are tasty and careless from where comes the water they fetch and its quality and safety. These inhabitants of Loom 99 say they are facing a chronic water crisis. For many years now, we have not had potable water. Children fall sick after drinking this water. It is not even water. It is more we drink. As I speak, my child is lying sick in the house. The cause could be this water. According to the locals, pipes passing through their locality supply potable water in Penja and other surrounding locations localities, whereas they pay heavy bills but deprived of the precious liquid. Just like manna from heaven, one of the pipes supplying water to other places got broken, thereby attracting inhabitants with all sorts of containers, including drums they cannot carry. Some water officials who arrived to repair the broken pipe were almost torn to pieces by the tasty, desperate and angry population who say was rather a measure to supply Penja, Loom and Banga the precious liquid. A riot that saw the intervention of the divisional officer of Loom. You can't scramble for water, yet fetching more to drink. We are aware of this water crisis in Loom 99 for years. Become. What angers the population most is how the sum of about 22 million francs CFA offered by FECOM to the Council for Supply of Portable Water in Loom 99 was managed. La gestion, on ne sait trop comment le maire a géré cet argent. Il n'y a pas une seule goutte d'eau ici au quartier. On the part of the council, the problem is from the state. The state is not helping to ensure high volume of water be supplied to the population. 
The state is not giving us the means to satisfy the needs of the population. So if the population think we are the cause, they have failed. Meantime, the local administrative authorities, who are under pressure from the angry population, are planning to hold a meeting come December 20, 2021, to be presided over by the Senior Divisional Officer for the Mungo Division in order to find a solution to this chronic water crisis in Loom 99. Division of the Litra region, some bike riders from two of some two villages under Mbanga subdivision have been warned against transporting unknown individuals into the villages. The warning came from the divisional officer for Mbanga, uh, Tembo uh, Christian, who went on a visit to the area. And one of the major problems raised by the people of the villages visited by the administrative official is a heightened and disturbing level of insecurity in most of the villages, largely bordered by the conflicts and security challenge southwest region of uh, Cameroon. We have details with Simat Njikan Gabriel. The localities of Lenge and Mbanga <coughs> subdivision in the Mongo division have been for some time in deep security crisis. Just a few weeks ago, they don't kidnap. Some weeks ago, three persons were kidnapped by unknown persons. One of the women who was abducted was asked a ransom of one million francs CFA before she can gain her freedom. It was after he did negotiations with the family that they finally agreed with the kidnappers to pay the sum of 500,000 francs CFA. As a result of the insecurity in these two villages, Lenge and Dongkong, the divisional officer of Mbanga, was in the locality to evaluate the situation in the course of the visit to these villages under his zone of jurisdiction. Vigilante committees were set up in the two villages. The divisional officer gave this advice to the commercial motorcycle riders who are accused of transporting the alleged separatist fighters into the villages. If you are one of those transporting the Amber Boys, we are urging you to stop because our eyes are open. If you are caught transporting someone through and through the water, you are in problem because it's not only them you can carry to make money. Lenge and Duncan in Banga subdivision share boundary with Moyoka subdivision of the southwest region. With the installation of the vigilante committees in the two villages, the inhabitants of Lenge and Duncan are hoping that finally they will be free from the kidnapping and enjoy their end of year festivities is free. Halting attacks along the long uh, Cameroon Nigeria border across Mwa subdivision and also that of Aku subdivision, all of the Donga Mantun division working a common solution to the now <coughs> lone possible way into the Donga Mantun division that's through the noon of the west region of Cameroon combating the high in prices of uh, or the hike in prices of basic commodities across a division that is almost being cut off from the rest of the country as a result of the blockade on the ring road the national roads in the northwest region were some of the major issues discussed during the administrative and security coordination meeting for 2021 in the Donga Mantum Division. The said meeting was chaired by the senior divisional officer, Dr. Do Simon Quenti. Attended were our reporters, Mala Glory and Haruna Muhammad. Insecurity in the Donga Mantum Division is the reason behind the holding of this security meeting chaired by the senior divisional officer, Quenti Simon. The two day meeting in Kambe aimed at evaluating planning and to strategize on the 2022 security plan. The Donga Mantum must continue to be peaceful and grow during this period of multiple festivities. We must all play our useful, peaceful roles for the society as a whole to remain on the orbit of order, tranquility and development. This meeting is holding in the heart of the execution of the presidential plan for the reconstruction and development of the Northwest region. 
The wish for the return of peace has been re echoed by the locals. You know, oh Lord, why we are gathered here today. We are gathered here, oh Lord, to look into matters that concern our division. Heavenly Father. During the meeting, some brave and hardworking women were awarded medals. The rest of the meeting was held behind cameras. Well, I've already been reporting with Aruna Muhammad. We shall be coming back to details of that meeting and other strategic uh, sources and information from that part of the Northwest region. Subsequently, now for us, time for us to take you on news briefs to say that some six traditional dignitaries of the sort of fandom in the buoy of the Northwest region of Cameroon are said to have been taken hostage by alleged separatist fighters in a village of Sub in the buoy division in a village video that is viral on social media in Cameroon, the traditional rulers and custodians of the insult tradition are presented kidnapped in Salt Village on their way back from a meeting with the paramount ruler of the insult fandom. And still in the northwest region of Cameroon, some four persons whisked off from Chomba. Chomba is a village in the Mizam of the northwest region of the country are still unaccounted for. According to local sources, reports say the individuals were taken during a military raid on Chomba. The military raid was on a suspected separatist fighters in the locality. Reports say four persons were taken away to an undisclosed destination. Their whereabouts remains unknown and among the persons taken was a certain Mr. Apollo and the wife. We are close on this story. Show will be coming back to it but time for us to talk about the festival of uh, the traditions of the people of the west region of Cameroon beautifully displayed in Bonaberry in the Douala Four municipality Immaculate Fogwe. The rich culture of the population of the West Region showcased in dance and exhibition arts. The Dadi Pualo Festival seeks to bring back natives to their roots given that rapid modernization is posing a threat to the survival of cultures. We noticed that our community is growing rapidly, but the younger generation is kind of lost when it comes to culture. So, such a festival will be some sort of awakening for the younger generation. According to the natives, taking part in such a festival does not only give them a chance to understand the cultural histories of their communities, but also appreciate diversity and foster peace and cohesion while supporting communities. Our dance reconnects us to ancestors because it's very symbolic, reason why we had to bring the population together. The maiden edition of the Dadi Poalo Festival held under the theme reconnecting to roots and transmitting cultural values to the future generation was characterized by palm and pageantry. Back to uh, our cultural values was the theme of another cultural festival organized at the College Lieberman in the heart of the economic capital city Douala, Charles Abane Kome. In the space of 24 hours, the Lieberman College in the city of Douala was transformed into a cultural center decorated with a traditional setting. The students of the college were deeply rooted into the celebrations of their respective traditions. This year we are celebrating the fifth edition of the annual event Rotuosuos, which has as mission to promulgate the African culture. This initiative also symbolizes togetherness. All the tribes were proudly represented with flamboyant traditional regalias from the Gandura in the far north region to the Togo in the southwest and northwest regions of the country. Not forgetting the Kabangondo in the littoral region or better still Lumbum in the south region of Cameroon. An event lit with a spectrum of colors which symbolized peace and togetherness. Donc pour nous comme un devoir. To us, it is an obligation to train children from a very young age so they can always remember that when growing up, culture is extremely important. 
pour vivre ensemble dans ce pays, dans ce beau pays. To inculcate and promulgate this initiative in the education sector, the organizers of this cultural event invite all institutions to participate in the celebrations of their respective traditions. And we give you this uh, information in brief. We shall be coming back to a complete report of our correspondents who traveled from the South Coast region at Chiefdom Boya to Bamonso. Bamonso is in the Bakasi Peninsula of the Indian of the region. He traveled to confirm that about eight persons have already been killed by a very disturbing cholera outbreak in that part of the southwest region of Cameroon. The outbreak was detected in uh, Bamoso, Ekondo Titi, and uh, several parts of the Bakasi Peninsula. And of course, we shall be coming back to statistics. Derek Jato tells us, however, that Doctors Without Borders are intervening in order to save lives in that part of the conflict in southwest region of Cameroon with a disturbing cholera outbreak qualified by many as a as crisis within a crisis region. Coming up is Talking Point. Thanks for joining us on Talking Points today. We're receiving a uh, civil society actor. We're receiving Diom Emmanuel. Diom Emmanuel, thanks for accepting to be our guest on the Friday edition of the Prime Time News. Yes, uh, for me, I'm John Sander. Thank you very much for the invitation once more. And uh, thank you to all the million viewers of Equinox. You know, in Equinox, above, above images, yes. we render account to the population. Okay. So just before we go into our proper of the day, uh, I'm thanking Equinox for accepting my invitation also to be in my school center tomorrow at Lok Pump, Foundation Mama Fossa. And of course, it's a privilege to have you people there tomorrow. All right, that, that's good. And of course, uh, the organ for the people, we are going straight to issues. Uh, we are having reports of some six traditional rulers or dignitaries of the South Fondom kidnapped or say taken hostage by alleged separatist fighters. In a video that is going viral, they are being accused of having attended a meeting of the Paramount rollout in South Fondo. What's your reaction on that as a civil society actor? Uh, I have said it, and I will say it again, that in war times, nothing is strange. You know that when you are in war, or when you are at war, nothing should be strange. It is regrettable because we used to think that African tradition as a whole, before tradition in Cameroon and the Northwest in particular, was something so dear to our hearts. And untouchable. And uh, untouchable. But if we have come to a point where our traditional rollers could be toy with, like Christmas toys, it means that something is completely wrong in the entire land. But then, if we have also come to a point where our traditional rulers can abandon their population for political gains, something is terribly wrong in that nation. Remember, we are told that these chiefs were coming back after a summon from the phone on so who is in Yaoundé. And I asked, is the phone supposed to be in his palace? or he is supposed to be somewhere in Yaoundé giving summons to other chiefs from his town to visit him in Yaoundé. Does it mean that in Cameroon today, tradition is being transported in the suitcase, in the bags, in the traveler's bag? It can be transported from Bamenda to Yaoundé. And then the people can be summoned at any time to go and perform tradition, but in Yaoundé, it is regrettable. So, all the two parties, the fronts and the those involved in the kidnapping, something is wrong with all of you people. The Paramount ruler, you remember he was kidnapped one time uh, we, alongside the late cardinal, uh, probably why he 
uh, is living out of the sort of fandom and just like uh, him several other traditional rulers have fled their palaces and villages in the north and south regions of Cameroon we had the speaker of the national assembly insisting that they should go back to their villages and also telling them or reminding them that they were auxiliary actors and of course collaborators of the central administration they needed to be in their villages in order to stamp the authority of the state in these villages well that is what uh, the speaker of the national assembly say and i want to remind the speaker of the national assembly that there is a war up there where you come from we have the arab shuas and the Muslim. And I, I don't remember the last time i saw the national assembly as the elite of the Omno went up there to make to broker peace look we are led by people who cannot move i have always said it and in a young country like cameroon we need vibrant people with energy vibrant pe leader not people who end only are they they only manage to to store the energy that can support them to make some particular provocative speeches and they cannot go beyond those speeches ask him the president of the national assembly when was the last time he was in northwest and southwest he is the president of the assembly that represents the whole of cameroon that are supposed to control the government action but unfortunately the government has been controlling the action of the national assembly what a shame what how can you be asking controlling and the, the, the actions of the national assembly where we have seen ministers especially for example the very last session that we, we just had in november session we've seen ministers coming to present the actions before many uh, members of government and trying to defend whatever was given to them in the previous year and what they hope to do with whatever will be given to them in the year vis -a -vis well i i i know you are the moderator here but let me ask you this question and i will stop my argument from from your answer tell me one minister that was ever stopped from reading a paper in the national at the national of assembly just one just one that will stop my argument surely don't expect me to answer right well Go i wouldn't expect you to answer but i wanted to tell you that to be honest with you for me in all aspects of life cameroon is failing cameroon is sick cameroon is actually sick and we need doctors the doctors that we need in Cameroon are not doctors of speeches. We need doctors of action. People who do action, not people who carry out speeches. You cannot be having fire burning in your house in the up north and you are giving orders to people in Norway and Southwest, knowing that there is war, there is food bloom war going on in Norway and Southwest. And asking them to go. And then you are asking them to go, knowing that when they go there, they will be kidnapped. But then there is something you say that I cannot let it go. If you are telling me that the phone I'm so now has the legitimacy to stay in Yaoundé because he was once kidnapped. It means that he's not supposed to be a fawn. When you are a fawn, you are like a shepherd. If you have 100 sheep and one gets missing, you go after the one. You are supposed to die for them. You are supposed to stand for them till the last minute. That is what makes you a leader. You don't abandon your people when they need you the more. And then you only come back when there is calm and, to so to, that you are the and also to just to uh, in that same line to say that the president of the northwest uh, house of chiefs was also kidnapped uh, yes we are in war you see and of course uh, he they, was they, also kidnapped he doubles as the vice president of the northwest uh, regional assembly uh, mm. the uh, was also kidnapped by this man and, and uh, we were staying in this region yesterday we had a report of the visit of the mascot to bermenda but the, 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 the essence of his visit Oof. to Bamina was overshadowed by the street, the dusty streets uh, that Mola walked from upstation from the governor's office to the rest of the, the, the city of Bamenda and also the high military presence. Some of it went to an extent to say that Mola was dressed with bulletproofs along the streets of Bamenda. No, you cannot say that some people went to an extent. Mola was dressed in a high profile bulletproof and that one shows that everything is under control if you saw mola in bamenda is the well dressed with bulletproofs everywhere it's a sign that everything in bamenda is under control but my problem is we thought that this mola man or this mola mascot thing was going to be presented to the population i never knew that it was going to be presented but to the military meaning that the afghan that is coming to cameroon is a military afghan it is not the people's Afghan. 
Because if you see a mother that people were supposed to come out, including even the nursing school children, to jubilate if the country was in good shape, then we are going to be hosting an of a military Afghan, not the population Afghan, because the mullah was there for the military, not for the people. Mullah walked from the governor's office through the streets and, and of course to present it to the people. We thank you very much, uh, <laughs> Manan, unfortunately we've come to the end of this edition of the news. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much for your keen attention. We ask you to stay in the company of interesting programs on Equinox. We are taking you to Yaoundé for newspapers. We shall bring you back to Douala with Equinox, so I will search a